Hello and welcome to this AIM video on how to overlay your GPS laps on Google Earth. Now as a quick recap, uh, we have gone through a series of setup uh, videos as to how to get your data into a view that you can analyze. Uh, we will put a link in the description to all of those videos if you haven't seen them. But we started out by setting up the measures graph to be able to get that into a, a view that allows us to start seeing trends. Then we started to add in a track maps so we could see where we were on track um, to be able to identify the point on the graph where we are uh, on the actual track uh, itself. And then lastly, we moved to understanding positioning on track by bringing in the GPS mapping capability. Uh, which we can see here and, and we are able to zoom in and start analyzing uh, driving lines of different particular laps but we want to be able to enhance this a little bit by being able to add more data and more visual representation of where uh, you're positioned on track and so to be able to do that we can actually overlay these laps on google earth so to do that we're going to come up to uh, the top left hand side and click on file and go to data export I'm going to click and change this. I want to save it on my uh, desktop, so I'm going to click on Browse, and I'm going to uh, nominate my uh, desktop as a location, and I'm going to put um, Lap uh, Overlay. Call it anything you like. I'm just going to call it App Overlay here. Um, it's going to save it as an AIM Google file, um, and then I'm going to click on Save. Uh, now it's asking me to choose the laps that I want to be able to use, and for continuity, we're going to continue with Lap 12 and Lap 8, so we're going to click on Lap eight there and I'm going to hold down the control key and click on lap 12 and then I'm going to click save and exit. Now what that's done is that's now created that Google file that I can now open up in Google Earth. So I have Google Earth um, open here so I'm going to open it up and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on file and I'm going to click on open and uh, right there on my desktop you can see lap overlay is there and I'm going to click on open and what that's going to do is it's going to zoom in and it's uh, uh, fingers crossed it's going to find um, the Silverson National Circuit, which it has done. And now it's allowed me to be able to see those laps overlay on top of Google Earth. And you can see that as I scroll through and start zooming in at different points here on the track, I can start to see that line uh, of those laps as we go through uh, that particular origin and that point that is there. And so a lot of useful information that's available here. You can actually go in uh, and select uh, different uh, variables as we look at it. We can open this up and say, I want to be able to see different pieces of information. So if I scroll here, they're both in yellow right now. But if I wanted to be able to see lap eight, I can uh, right click on it. Um, I can uh, look at the properties. Uh, I can say I would like that to be uh, red and I can click on OK and then click OK there. And then um, just because we've done it in all the others, I can change this one and I'd like to see this one is going to be in blue. Uh, and then I'm going to click on OK. And now we can see that same information we saw from uh, the uh, GPS overlay in the AIM Race Studio analysis software, but we can also see it as we look at the map and so uh, in, in Google. So we can now scroll in and we can get a much better view as to the lines that were taken by that individual through the corner. Uh, and what their exit was like and what their line is throughout the entire lap. And so for many, they find this view is particularly useful as we want to be able to get an understanding of how to be able to analyze uh, laps. Uh, and it's not all about graphs and charts. It's about being able to understand what your data is telling you in relation to your driving overall, which is as much to do with your position on track as it is necessarily uh, with the inputs that you give. And so all of this, um, available from even the most um, entry-level equipment from AIM. All of this is captured using an AIM Solo 2. And so I hope you find this information useful and look out for more information in this particular series. So that's it for this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you like the content. Also, please leave a comment below to let us know your thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell icon to be notified of future videos. There's a lot more content to come. Thanks for watching.